let's look at how we can light a scene here inside of Blender using an image. So we have the default scene here inside of Blender, although obviously I have replaced the default cube with a sphere. So let's quickly review the lighting that we get by default. I have a light just here. We can see that in the outliner panel just up here. Now if I turn the visibility of the light off, nothing actually changes here. That's because we first need to switch into our rendered mode just up here. So doing so, you can see this has grayed out. If I were to turn the light back on, that's what we had a moment ago. Okay, so that's what this light is doing. Now, even if I turn this light off, we still have this light gray everywhere. Where is that coming from? Well, down here in the properties panel, if I come down to the world section just here, the light gray is coming from this little color chip just here. Now, if I click on that, you can see that we can actually enter any color and intensity that we like. And if I actually drag this all the way down to black, Sure enough, everything within our scene disappears. So that's where that background color or the background lighting was actually coming from. Now, to the right of this color chip is this little dot just here. If I click on that, we can add a whole bunch of cool things, but I'm specifically looking for environment texture. Now, if I click on that, everything goes pink. Don't worry, nothing's wrong. Blender's just looking for an image. So I just need to go to open and point to that image. Now this is a HDRI image that I have on my desktop. I got this from the website hdrihaven.com. I'll include the link in the description. If I choose open image. Fantastic, here we go. You can see if I pan around just now, that image has been wrapped 360 degrees around my scene. Now if I zoom in on the sphere just here, it's pretty subtle, but you can see there is a bit of lighting going on just here. Now notice the light up here in my outliner panel is turned off. If I turn this on, and if I just pan around, I'm hoping we can see it. Pretty subtle when we do see it. There it is. You see there's a slight bit of lighting change happened just there. So I wanted you to see that because even if you add an environment texture to light your scene, the lights that you actually add still do interact with the scene as well. So actually, let's just leave that on. The influence is minimal. But again, there seems to be a little bit of lighting going on, but I want to really prove to you that it is quite dramatically happening with the right material settings. So if I click on the object just here, and if I come down to our material properties, not seeing anything in here, I'll just click on new. And now if I increase the metallic value all the way up, and if I bring the roughness all the way down, I've basically turned this sphere into a mirror ball. So you can see when I pan around, our environment texture is reflecting perfectly in that. Now I'm gonna increase this roughness a little bit to make this look a little bit more realistic. Actually, I might bring the roughness up to say 0.3. And here we go. Very nice, so we've got some nice diffused environment lighting happening on this ball just here. So the question is, what would happen if we actually rendered this thing out? Well, let's have a look. Render, render image. Okay, so we've got our nice lighting on our sphere happening just here, but we've also got the environment texture in the background. How can we get rid of that? Well, luckily it's pretty easy. Uh, again, over here in our properties panel, I am looking for this little guy just here, the render properties. If I scroll down to film and activate this transparent option, you can see the checkerboard pattern now appears. And now if I pan around, it's nothing but transparency in the background but we still have our image controlling the lighting on any object within our scene. Fantastic. So will this render out? Well, let's have a look. Render, render image. And that's the result just there. Now guys, if I was to come up to image and do a save and save it out as a PNG file, all this area, the transparency would be respected. So that's it there guys, we are done. That's how you can light your scene here inside of Blender using an image. I hope it helps. Catch you later.